In this video, we are going to discuss about the formatted input function, which is scan. So what is scan? This function scans, that is, checks whether the data entered from the keyboard is already available in temporary storage area called the buffer, that is the buffer storage. That means, suppose when the data which is entered, immediately it will go to the memory location, try to access whether it is available in the temporary storage. So if the data is not present in the buffer, that is in the temporary storage, then this function waits for the user to enter the data from the keyboard. So then what is the format? If data is present in buffer, the data is converted into appropriate data type using format string with help of conversion codes. So whatever the data is entered, that is has to the data is converted into appropriate data type, like whether it is an integer or it can be a uh, uh, it can be a float function, float variable. So that you need to have the conversion codes. So using conversion codes, the sequence of characters entered from the keyboard will be converted into appropriate data type. So syntax is uh, n equals scan of format string and the address list. So what is that? Suppose if I consider an example, n is equal to scan of percentage d, percentage f and percentage c, all these things are within uh, double quotes and ampersand and x and y and z. So here percentage c, what it does? It converts the input data into a character, percentage C. Similarly, percentage F converts input data into a floating point number, and percentage D converts the input data into integer. So, note D, F, and C are the conversion characters. So, for the address list, if the list of variables, each variable name must be preceded by an ampersand symbol that is and. So the number of variable names must be equal to the number of format specifiers. That means whatever the whatever the number of variables you have here, you have x, y, z are the three variables. So then we should have the, that much amount of format specifier that is percentage D, percentage F and percentage C. So that should be equal. Suppose if you have two variables here, you cannot have three uh, format specifiers. That is the meaning of that. For example, if n is equal to scan of within double quotes percentage d, percentage f, and percentage c, which is the format specifiers, and then the ambition x, ambition y, and ambition z are the variables, variable names. So where percentage of percentage d, percentage f, and percentage c is three format specifiers, and ambition x, ambition y, and ambition z will be the three variables. So here the number of format specifiers should be equal to the number of variables. So what are the return values now? The function returns an integer value. This return value is the number of items that have been read successfully from the keyboard. So for example, if you have uh, n is equal to scan of, so we have this uh, 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 format specifiers and variable names. Suppose if you have an input like uh, 10, 20, 30, where n is equal to 3. So since we have the three values are entered from the keyboard, when n is equal to scan of, uh, if it is uh, percentage d, percentage d, percentage d within the double quotes, ampersand x, ampersand y, and ampersand z. So here, if you have the three values, 10, 20, 30, so since all the three values are of integer type, then naturally you should have the format specifier as the percentage D, percentage D, percentage D, where it is a conversion factor, the conversion into the integer value. The data is converted into an integer value. So of that, ampersand x, ampersand y, and ampersand z. Suppose if you have an input of 10, 20 and control Z, here n is equal to 2. Since two values are entered from the keyboard, 
So the control Z indicates what the line of end of line or the end of the line. Suppose if you have scan of percentage D, percentage F, and percentage C. So wherein you have ambient X, ambient Y, and ambient Z. The input data which is 10, 10.5, and A. If you have N is equal to scan of, so this is the statement what you have. Then in this, uh, suppose the data what we have entered is an integer value the float value and the string and the character so n 10 10 10.5 and a so 10 corresponds to percentage d 10.5 corresponds to percentage f and a is for percentage c so that is how this memory location has been entered ambient x ambient y and ambient z so wherein this is the keyboard buffer so how do you enter this 10 10.5 and a which is the keyboard buffer so that keyboard buffer, the data which we are entered has to be converted by the format specifier. So since it is 10, it is conversion factor is an integer. So it becomes percentage D and this 10.5 is becomes uh, the floating number. So it becomes percentage F and this A is the character. So it becomes percentage C. And these are the addresses of variables ambient X, ambient Y and ambient Z, wherein N is equal to 3 now. So here, how that memory locations will going to take place? When you have the memory locations, you have uh, x is equal to uh, 10 on 0. So it will be 2 bit, 2 bytes. And if it is a floating number, you will going to have uh, 4 bits. So it will going to be 10.5, which has been assigned like this. And similarly, z, the character, you are going to have a, which is the memory location. So what are the rules? which we need to follow while using the scanner statement. Number one, there must be a format for each variable. That is, the number of format specifiers must be equal to the number of variables which you have already seen, wherein if you have the three format specifiers, then you should have three variables. That is the meaning of that. For example, if you are considering which is already explained, percentage D, percentage F, percentage C, these are the format specifiers and ambient x, ambient y and ambient z will going to be the variable name. So the point number two or the rule number two, the variable present in scanf must represent address of memory locations. What does it mean? Suppose if you are considering int a colon semicolon. So what is that? So here I want to read that character. So I want to read that variable. So to do that, the scanf is a statement then within code so since it is an integer value the format specifier has to be percentage d and close that uh, quotes then what is the variable name the variable name is a so ambient a which will going to be considered here which is the ambient a here and close the brackets with the semicolon suppose the type rule number three the type conversion specified in each format specifier must match the corresponding type of variable present. So what does it mean now? Suppose if you have, for example, int a semicolon. So what is that? Scan of percentage d ambient a, where percentage g is an integer and uh, ambient a is the integer variable. So that is the meaning. He says each format specified must match the corresponding type variable address. If you are considering here, uh, Percentage D is 1, it is the integer. So, percentage F is 1, which is the float. Which is percentage C is 1, which is the character. When you are considering here, percentage D, ambient A. Where percentage G is the integer and ambient A is the integer variable. So, because the variable declared is INT here. So, since it is the INT, so the variable which has been declared, the format specifier for interest integer is the percentage. So that is the meaning of that. Input data items must be separated by appropriate delimiters, delimiters such as spaces or commas etc. And all these delimiters must be in the same order in format string. So what are the statements? Suppose if you are considering ex and the inputs. Example scan of percentage D within the quotes percentage D percentage R then close the quotes 
and ampersand a comma ampersand b and close this semicolon if you are considering so here the input what i am giving is uh, the 10 which is the integer and percentage of it is 12.5 so here the declared variable addresses are uh, the integer and the float floating floating point variable and the number of variables are two here the inputs what i am giving is 10 which is the integer value which is a without decimal point and 12.5 which is the floating point number with the decimal point so it's a valid statement because what happens the number of uh, the variables is matching here and the type of uh, format specifies also matching so that is the reason why it's valid suppose if you are considering scanner percentage d comma percentage f semicolon ampersand a and ampersand b wherein 10 12.5 which is invalid because comma must be separate the data when you are entering here 10 10 12.5 there should be a comma here for example if you are considering again scan of within the course percentage d and percentage f and close the course and ampersand a and ampersand b so here the input one i'm giving is 10.5 comma 5 if you are giving like this again it is invalid see because the format specify what we have the conversion code is the first one is the integer and the other one is the float variable but here what you are entering is the first one is the float and the second one is integer so naturally the invalid so first data should be integer next float because that is how we have declared in the scan of statement so similarly now we we'll go for the rule number five the white space characters other than space should not be used that is backslash t backslash b and backslash n characters should not be used in this kind of statement so that means backslash t which is the tab which will going to be used when you are writing the printer statement that is the output how my output should look like in such cases we can use but since it is in the scanner statement you cannot use a white space characters other than space should not be used so like backslash t backslash b and backslash n cannot be used in this kind of statement so here uh, of course this is the example one we are specifying like uh, the first one is valid the second one is a percentage d backslash n and percentage d ampersand a and ampersand b which is invalid even though you are using uh, both are uh, the integer addresses or the format specified this backslash n should not be used there so rule number six uh, it is a fatal error to end the format string with a white space character so what is that uh, if you are considering the statement uh, scan example scan of percentage d percentage d you give a white space character there when you give a space and then close the quotes and then give comma ambassador and ambassador b so this is the one what is uh, talking about white space character space should not be there at the end of the format string similarly backslash n cannot be used in this case you give percentage d percentage d backslash n and percent invalid slash n at the end of the format string cannot be used the rule number seven the process of converting the data into appropriate data type will be stopped whenever a end of file is encountered b maximum of characters have been processed c an error is detected in the input so next so this is how you will be able to uh, address the scan of statement and also what are all the rules followed while declaring this kind of statement. Thank you.